What's up, Bearded Warriors? This is Kyle, also known as Geeks with Games, bringing you part two of my Let's Play for Stardew Valley. Last video we left off, we just got into the game, got into the basic story behind it, met some of the people around town, explored a little bit, didn't get too far into it. So our goal for today is to cultivate and harvest a parsnip. So that's kind of our goal right now. That's our only journal entry other than just talking with all the people, which uh, we've done few people what I plan on doing for this game or for this day in game is to basically just figure out the lay of the land go meet some people oh there just got back from a fishing trip you should come down to the beach sometime I've got some for you Willie uh I don't know what he's got for me but I'm pretty sure I don't want it unless it's a fishing rod and I will definitely get in on that shit so I'm just gonna I'm going to ignore that my plot of land just looks like complete and utter garbage. And I'm going to explore around because I want to see what we have to offer. So this is a this is a chunk of land. Holy shit, I had no idea. Let's see. Let's get rid of you. Grab a fiber. Can I jump? No. So this is a nice, nice chunk of land. Okay, got a hammer. That's not a hammer. Wait, do we not have a hammer? Oh no, we need that. Got it. Okay. So let's head south. Let's see what we got here. Alright, what do we got? Farm Pelican Town. Okay, so let's head west. See if there's anything over here. Let's see, we got a pond of some sort. Little lake. Nice little little ramp, little dock, whatever you want to call it. Let's walk around the west side here. I want to see if we can find anything good. What is this? A little tower? Is this Wizard's Tower? Is this Merlin's Tower? Is where Merlin lives? Let's go see what he's up to. Oh, while I'm at it, might as well... Oh, wait. Grab some flowers now? Alright, let's go inside. Okay, never mind. This music kind of reminds me of um, Chrono Cross. If you guys ever played that game on the PlayStation 1, the game's fucking awesome. Definitely highly recommended. Very good RPG. What do we got over here? What's this? What is this? This is strange. I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep moving south. We got a beach. We got a bunch of trash. What is up with these people leaving their trash and their nastiness around? Don't do that. That's bad. Got an abandoned house. Nothing? Can't go in there? Nope. Okay. And looks like we're at the beach. Okay. So we're not going to go to the beach right now. We're going to head up north and head back east. I like these symbols up at the top to kind of indicate morning midday i believe that's what they're for but the one at the top right up here definitely looks like a donut so let's keep moving our sweet sweet booty what do we have here good sir oh onions Are these just wild onions that's what i'm talking about i'm gonna go sell them fucking right more onions oh sweet whatever they can carry i hope it's a lot that was kind of one of the downsides of the Harvest Moon games, is there was always a limit to how much shit you could carry. Oh, that's nasty. That's gross. I'm gonna have to fix that at some point. Yeah, you can usually carry like if you if you had a good big backpack, you carry like nine tomatoes or something, twelve tomatoes, something like that. It wasn't a lot. So this one I'm carrying 21 of these onions. That's fucking awesome. Spring onions. Plus 13 energy. Plus 5 health. Wait. I have a health bar? I know I got an energy bar. Who's this? Hey, baby! Leah. Alright. Good talk. I wonder if she likes onions. Let's find out. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Alright, so we got our moomoos here. Part of my strategy is probably going to be to have a pretty decent farm. 
In the Harvest Moon games, I would usually have, by far, I mean, ugh, fuck, I can't even talk. I'd have a good amount of animals. I usually, I usually, uh, focus on chickens. Just get eight or so chickens, whatnot. Just make sure you feed them every single day. Get all them eggs, yo. Get all them eggs. Nothing? Okay, you gotta face it. Close for the day, Marnie. Okay. Let's head east. I'm pretty sure this is gonna tell us Pelican Town. Cedar Snap. Uh, Cinder Snap. Cinder Sap Forest. Not Cinder Snap. Cinder Sap Forest. Pelican Town. So we're gonna go back to Pelican Town. So yeah, for the first couple days, I'm pretty much just gonna be kind of figuring out the lay of the land. Trying to collect a few things here and there so I can make a few bucks. I've got all these onions, and that's fucking awesome. All the onions are gonna make us some make up some good money. I got 18 extra gold. I started with 500, but now I'm at 18. Did I already go in here? I don't remember if I went in here. I'm not going here. Yeah, I started with 500. Now I'm at 18. I think I sold some of the some of the fiber. I think that's why I sold fiber. Maybe it's mixed seeds. I don't know. I sold something. Made 18, 18 gold. It, it wasn't much. And what's her name? What's this chick's name? Penny? Was it Penny? I got enough friends with Penny. Yeah, it was Penny. All right, so we've had a pretty good look at the southern side of town, and I met a good amount of people. Ooh, a saloon, a bar. Let's head up north. I'm assuming this is probably where the mayor is going to be living. Mayor always lives at the north side of town. Big, nice area. Oh, hey, baby girl. Oh, you look short. You might be a child. Nope. Damn. You're a seductress. Seductress? Is that a word? I don't know. Are you the farm boy, aren't you? You can't call me a boy with that beard. Look at that beard. Jesus, man. Got a play structure for the kids. No kids on there. So, all right, let's head back. Let's head back to our little little farm. We've got a pretty good lay of the land. It's gonna take a little bit for me to get used to it. Just gonna have to just run around over and over and over and over again until I figure everything out. But until then, you know, we'll get lost a little bit, but not that big a deal. Let's drop this off. And call it good. All right, so we sold all our onions. Actually, you know, while we're at it, let's sell a stone and the fiber because I don't think I'm going to use it. All right, so we're good to go. Sold some shit. Okay, so one thing I do like is that with the seeds, when you're planting them, you plant one at a time. In Harvest Moon, you would plant, you would plant like a, a three by three row. So you'd have to make sure you were staying in the middle of the area that you were going to be harvesting. Otherwise, you'd just lose the seeds, and that was that was always pain in the ass. It might, I mean, while we're at it, we might as well just have... Might as well just have it right in the front. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, let's just do it right here in the front. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, I like to keep a little bit of space. Kind of like how I used to do in Minecraft. There would always be a row between everything just to make it easy to move. Six. Okay, so we only have 15 of these. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we got to water them. One, two. So yeah, it could get a little tedious. But that's just kind of the charm of the game. It is, it is, you know, they call it an RPG, but it's also a simulator. So let's get all this watered. Glad our tank has a pretty decent size. It's really annoying when you, in these type of games, you start with a water tank that only, you can only water like four or five times. But holy shit, that's annoying. I didn't check up north. Did I check up, up north? Okay, so that pathway up there. Actually, I'm going to go up there. I did not go in the cave as well. I wonder what's in the cave. Probably gnomes. Fucking gnomes. Gnomes are dicks. Alright, we got trees, more trees, trees. Are we heading up a mountain? 
This is gonna be like an out mountain where I get to the top and there's just not gonna be anything up there. Ooh, what do we got here? Who lives here? Hey, what's up, buddy? Or lady? Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Maru. Yes, I am Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, Maru, good to meet you. You know, the small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Let's go see if we can steal anything. Usually my kind of go-to. Oh, she's watching. One of Robin's axes. Is this going to be the, the girl I have to go to when I want to get a new axe? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, what do we got here? Whose room is this? Not good friends with Maru. And not good enough friends with Robin or Demetrius. Uh, so we have a couple. Maybe that's her parents. Whoa, who's this fucking emo nerd? Come here, buddy. We're gonna have to have a serious talk about your hair. Sebastian? Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you can live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah, dude. I sure did. I guess he's out of things to say. I can't talk to him anymore. Who's this guy? Demetrius, greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Hey, buddy. I'm studying local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Hey, my daughter Maru, she's interested to meet you. I did, and I gave her the slippery dick. Girl. Ooh, a leak. Is there anything else we can steal? Is that a wild leak? Anything I can, I can grab around here? Nope, nothing? Okay. Well, let's head back into town. Oh, it's 7.30 p.m. Shit, it's time for us to go to bed. It is bedtime. What is this, a bear statue? I don't even know. It's getting a little late. Oh, we got a fire. We got a wayward hobo. Let's go say hi. Oh, I was just joking. Apparently it is. A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. All right, weirdo. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. There's a deer or something in there. Where is this going to lead us to? Let's check this area out. Oh, this is where I came in from. Okay, so that's perfect. So, day two. We've collected a decent amount of stuff to sell. Now, if it's going to make us any money, I have no idea. And I also don't know if it's going to be in like Harvest Moon where next day it will repop and I can just kind of keep going so let's find out so go home go to sleep how do we sleep I've done it before there we go oh let's see how much money we made foraging oh shit we made 160 gold plus 5 gold for the stone and the fiber cool all right, we're rich. We're practically rich. Rain was always my favorite because I did not have to then water my plants. Didn't have to do it. It was great. Let's move into town. I want to see what kind of seeds Pierre has for sale. What I would play Harvest Moon on the SNES and on the PlayStation 1. My number one go-to item to grow was tomatoes. It was always tomatoes. Sometimes during the summer, I would grow, I believe it was pineapples. Close on Wendy. Wendy's, what the fuck, Pierre? I'm looking for someone to bring me 25 copper ores to see if any rare gems are hidden. 200 gold on delivery. Keep the ores after Clint inspects them. Okay. So I don't actually know where to get copper ore. So that's going to be a little difficult. Maybe it's that area next to... That burnt down shack. I don't know. Let's go find out. Let's head on over there. So we got our parsnips. That's I'm probably gonna do a, like a whole lot more because this game makes it really easy to collect items, and it seems like you can carry a lot. So I'll probably plant a lot more stuff when I get the opportunity to. Okay, what is this? This must be it. This must be. Maybe. 
I gotta do this. Well, I have no idea where I'm supposed to get that ore. There's gonna be a mine around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the video off here. Next video, I think we're gonna do a little bit of item gathering. We're gonna clear out this place a little. And we're going to try to get some more money. Let's see, what do we got here? I can put my fist on it or my hand on it, but I can't do anything with it. Eh, whatever. I'll go back inside for now. Gather some more money. Try to make a few bucks. Try to pick up some girls. Get to know the, the townsfolk a little better. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you like, subscribe if you want to see more. Questions, comments, concerns, you guys know the deal. This is Kyle from Geeksmith Games. Thank you for watching.